So let's practice using two examples that have expressions with exponents in them. So our instructions will be simplify. The first one I have 5x squared y to the fifth times 3xy cubed. So there's nothing in between those parentheses. That's how I know it's times. I don't have any other pluses and minuses in here, which is really great. That means I can just drop those parentheses. So I'll go ahead and show you the nitty-gritty detail here. And I'm putting in little dots for my times, whatever. So 5 times x squared times y to the fifth times 3 times x times y cubed. Multiplication, you can do it in any order. So let's go ahead and put our numbers together. And then we'll put our x factors together. And then we will put our y factors together. Now, it should look like something totally doable. 5 times 3 is 15. x squared times x. Right, remember, x squared, x times x, times one more x. Now I have three of them. x cubed. Multiply like bases, add the exponents. y, so I don't want to write out that many y's. 5 plus 3 is 8. And that's how that first example simplifies. This next one, let's take a look. I have a fraction. It's in parentheses, and I have this squared out here attached to everybody inside. I need to square everything. So we're going to use a couple of exponent properties here to tidy this one up. Uh, a couple of different things you can do first. You might notice you have an x in the top and an x in the bottom. You could choose to simplify that part first. I'm not going to, but you certainly could. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and take this squared, and I'm going to apply it in to everything. And again, I will show you the gory detail. So I'm going to have a 7 squared, an x to the fourth squared, a y cubed squared, divided by a 2 squared, and then an x squared in the bottom. Now I really want to warn you, and I'll write it over here really big before we're done. This is only working, this 2 popping into everything, because I have a monomial only one term inside those parentheses. No pluses, no minuses, no, right, and six more or anything. So the twos, the powers will only pop in as long as it's a monomial and it pops into each factor. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of those. So seven squared is 49. X to the fourth squared, powers to powers. What you do is you multiply those, so four times two is X to the eighth y cubed squared, powers to powers, y to the sixth, divided by 2 squared is 4, and then x squared is just x squared. Hold on, you're not done, because I have an x factor in the top and an x factor in the bottom. So x to the eighth divided by x squared, you're dividing like bases, so you subtract those exponents. So 8 minus 2 gives me a 6. 8 was bigger, so the 6 is going to go on top. y to the 6th divided by 4. Remember that x squared canceled out up there. And there we go. So here's my warning. Green. It's important. The power only pops in if the expression is a monomial. One term, no pluses, no minuses.